In this video, we're learning how to find fractions of whole numbers. And at the top of our screen, it says to find a fraction of a whole number, multiply the fraction by the whole number. So the reason we're going to do this is because the word of in math means multiplication. So if we're taking a look at example one, we have one eighth of 48. So like I just said, of in math means multiplication. So we're just going to take our number. So we have one eighth. And instead of of, we're going to replace that with a multiplication sign. And then we have 48. So we're really just going to multiply 1 eighth by 48. And now when we multiply a fraction by a whole number, we have to turn the whole number into a fraction. And the way we can do that is by putting it over 1. So 48 is the same as 48 over 1. And now we just want to multiply straight across, but we don't want to forget to cross reduce because it's going to make our multiplication easier. So we can cross reduce the 8 and the 48 by dividing them both by 8. If we divide 8 by 8, we're left with 1. If we divide 48 by 8, we're left with 6. So now it's really like we're multiplying 1 over 1 times 6 over 1. And we're going to multiply straight across. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And 6 over 1 is just equal to 6. So we get that 1 eighth of 48 is 6. And now some of you might be thinking that there's an easier way to solve a problem like this. So when your numerator of the fraction is 1, it might just be easier to use a shortcut. So if we think about what an eighth of a number is, an eighth just means we're breaking up some number into eight parts and taking one of those parts. So a shortcut for this problem is you could have just done 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6, and you'll get the same thing that 1 eighth of 48 is equal to 6. Now, if we move on to example two, this time we don't have a one in our numerator. So using that shortcut might be a little bit trickier, so we're gonna do it the multiplication way. So we have three-fifths of 20. So again, of in math means multiplication. So we're gonna take three-fifths, and we wanna multiply it by 20, but we wanna turn 20 into a fraction, so we're gonna put 20 over one. And now we're gonna multiply straight across, but we wanna cross-reduce if possible. And we can cross reduce this 5 and the 20 by dividing them both by 5. So 5 divided by 5 gives us 1, and 20 divided by 5 gives us 4. So now it's really like we're multiplying 3 over 1 times 4 over 1. We're going to multiply straight across. 3 times 4 gives us 12 on the top. 1 times 1 gives us 1 on the bottom. 12 over 1 is just equal to 12. Let's go through some more examples. So example three is 7 tenths of 22. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. So we're going to keep 7 tenths. Of means multiplication. So we're going to multiply 7 tenths by 22. But we want to change 22 into a fraction by putting it over 1. And now we want to see if we can cross reduce. And we can cross reduce the 10 and the 22. So we can divide them both by 2. 10 divided by 2 is going to give us 5. 22 divided by 2 gives us 11. So really it's like we're multiplying 7 over 5 times 11 over 1. And now we're going to multiply straight across. So if we multiply the numerators, 7 times 11 is 77. And if we multiply the denominators, 5 times 1 is 5. And now we're just going to change this into a mixed number. So 5 goes into 77 15 times. And 15 times 5 is 75. So we have 2 left over. So we get 15 and 2 fifths as our answer. Moving on to example 4, we have 5 sixths of 33. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take 5 sixths. We're going to replace of with multiplication. So we're going to multiply 5 sixths by 33. And we're going to put 33 over 1 to turn it into a fraction. And now we're going to cross reduce. So we can cross reduce the 6 and the 33 by dividing them both by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 33 divided by 3 is 11, so now it's really like I'm multiplying 5 over 2 times 11 over 1, and I'm going to multiply straight across. So 5 times 11 gives me 55 on the top, 2 times 1 gives me 2 on the bottom, and now I want to turn this into a mixed number. So 2 goes into 55 27 times, and 2 times 27 is 54, so we have 1 left over. So we get 27 and a half. 
Let's go through two more examples just to make sure we've got this down. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've done them correctly. So jumping into number five, we have 7 twelfths of 72. So we want to take 7 twelfths and multiply it by 72 because of means multiplication, but we want to change 72 into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now before we multiply across, we want to check if we can cross reduce, and we can. We can divide 12 and 72 by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1, 72 divided by 12 is 6. So now it's really like we're multiplying 7 over 1 times 6 over 1. And we're going to multiply straight across. 7 times 6 gives us 42 on the top. 1 times 1 gives us 1 on the bottom. And 42 over 1 is just equal to 42. Taking a look at our last example, we have 8 ninths of 39. So again, we're going to start by taking our fraction of 8 ninths. We're going to change of to multiplication. So we're going to multiply 8 ninths by 39, put the 39 over a 1 to turn it into a fraction. We want to see if we could cross reduce, and we can cross reduce the 9 and the 39 by dividing them both by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 39 divided by 3 is 13. So now it's really like we're multiplying 8 over 3 by 13 over 1. And we're going to multiply straight across, so 8 times 13 is going to give us 104 in our numerator. 3 times 1 gives us a 3 in our denominator. And now we want to change this into a mixed number. So 3 goes into 104 34 times. And 3 times 34 is going to give us 102, so we have 2 left over. So we get 34 and 2 thirds as our answer. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to find fractions of whole numbers. You just have to remember that in, ma in math, of means multiplication, so you're just going to multiply the fraction by the whole number.